and we back the worst part of sports is the injuries how many careers have been cut short how many playoff runs have ended because of a major injury it's, it's a ton now that i say that this video maybe not it, it doesn't make a ton of sense because we're taking the worst part about sports and amplifying it because of course as you know there are these sliders in the game where cpu uh injury frequency is all the way up and now same thing with the user i thought about this one how much player attributes are affected when a cpu player is injured if it's gonna be an injury video it's gonna be an injury video turn it up and turn it up and we're seeing um what team can win championships when everybody is injured also there's this should we increase the severity oh this is awful this is a terrible idea the duration sure the career ending injury frequency all the way to 100 i do want to say again this is a fictional video and i don't wish this upon nobody at all like this is again the worst part of sports i've seen some of my favorite teams uh whole next 10 years get ruined by a major injury so i'm one that sympathizes with injuries but i just thought it was interesting to see also we got lebron james LeBron James went to the comment section and suggested this. Oh, it's it's the Bron James 23. So it's not him. My fault. But but there is a suggestion. And we're using real rosters because I do want to see. So, so okay, okay, 2K. Oh, okay. It does have the active injuries already. So Zlonzo is officially out. Ricky Rubio is out for personal reasons. Okay. So we are cool. Even though Jared Allen didn't play in real life, he, he's on the injuries right now. Minor injury, but injury is still an injury. Nonetheless, everything is cool. John Morant is suspended for one or two weeks. That's just not how long it is in real life. Whatever. Um, you know the one thing I do want to do is uh, to I want to be able to see it. So, injury off, no automatic injuries, but everything else automatic. Who will be the first player injured? Jerry Vanderbilt. On the opening day of the season, he tore his left calf muscle. Aaron Gordon hyperextended his left knee. Uh, that's crazy. Yusuf Nurkis. This is all the first day of the season, by the way. These are all the games of day number one. Um, ankle sprain. Johnny Davis is back. I didn't know Johnny Davis was injured. Aaron Neesmith, broken left ankle. Who is he going against? Game number one for them was against the Wizards. Jordan Poole must have hit him with that bang, bang, bang. And, and ankles just snap. Hi, Jerome. Gary Trent Jr. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. Kevin Herter, this is the second day of the season. This is the that we just got through two days of the NBA season, and we already have all of these injuries. Um, again, some of these are real life injuries, like Stephen Adams or Alonzo uh, Ball and stuff. But this is still in the same amount for just two days time. So I'm gonna simulate the first month of the season. We are gonna count to see how many people got injured. The first month of the season is done. Here is the oh that's transaction report. Here's the injury report. So Wiggins is the only added player to be out for the season. I'm sorry, Wiggs, it had to be you. Trey Jones, um, Jonathan Kaminga. Oh my God, the Warriors are down bad. You know what? Probably going team by team will be better. We get day to day for Joel Embiid. It's not too bad. Right now, the 76ers feel good. The Bucks are the healthiest team in the league right now. They have zero injuries while the Bulls have a bunch. Uh, Donovan Mitchell out one or two weeks. Porzingis out one or two weeks. That's not too bad. They still got the Jays feeling good. Kawhi Leonard is injured. Trey Young, two to four. The Miami Heat are a healthy team. Uh, the Charlotte Horn is relatively healthy day to day. Um, Lonzo, I'm sorry, LaMelo had to break his knee or leg early in the season because he's, he'll be back any day now. The Lakers, also no injuries. They had an injury day number one with Jared Vanderbilt or whatever, but he's back and he's healthy. I'm looking for superstar players and there's the first one. Throughout the, the entirety of Nikola Jokic's career, he's been a guy that's been durable as ever. And now he only got to play six games before he's going to be out for two more months. That's three starters just dealing with injuries for them. So they might not be our defending champion. The reality is what you need to do in today's video is that you need to be solid enough to make the playoffs. And then you need very good luck when the playoffs start. Uh, if we take a look at the standings and take a look and see which team is winning. It is the Lakers, who again have been relatively healthy outside of that first day. So that makes a ton of sense. The Blazers are not a very well constructed team. Of course, they traded Dame and going towards the rebuild. But guess what? They got all of their starters still. So they're winning basketball games. You play against them, it's not an easy game no more because you might be missing your best player. And then so far out west, ooh, the Sacramento Kings have been awful because there's no De'Aaron Fox right now. So yeah, that's just the case. Out East, the Brooklyn Nets are at the bottom as well. They look pretty healthy to me. They just can't, they just can't win. And then the, the top team is the Cleveland Cavaliers who have, they do not have Donovan Mitchell right now. And it hasn't mattered. 
too much. That out for the season thing is not looking very great. Lou Dort has a spinal injury. Spinal. That's insane. Um, Evan Mobley out for the year. Quinn Grimes out for the year. Nas Reed. Bobby Portis. Uh, you got D'Angelo Russell. Like, this is a... T Zion is out two to four. Wimby, not Wimby. Oh, Wimby out two to four. He's got a new face scan in game. I just realized. Shout out to him. He got a haircut in game. Uh, this is an extreme amount of players. I went to the All-Star draft to see like, hey, man, is there going to be any first-time All-Stars? Because All-Stars are going to be injured. No first-timers. But like, it's been a minute since Jared Jackson. No, nope. Jared Allen All-Star was in Cleveland. That was two years ago. DeJounte Murray, second-time All-Star. It's been a minute since DeJounte Murray has been an All-Star. So these starters had DeMar DeRozan, Jalen Brown, and Julius Randle. So it hasn't changed that a ton. It seems like more role players are getting injured versus um, the Stars. But also... The injuries that do happen to the star players are normally very minor. This man, uh, Luca, has not missed a game. Is that is that what I'm reading correctly, or or am I I'm misunderstanding? Okay, never mind. But the games that the star players have missed hasn't been long. It's been one or two weeks here. Sometimes even playing through the injury. Uh, let's see if there's been any trades because I I figure it's gonna be hard to make trades when at, literally zero. So that's fun for the association. Whatever team you started off with, that's the team you ended with today, y'all. I want to get to the playoffs because I want to see we can jump into a game and witness. A, is that crazy? To, okay, that might, that's crazy. Luka Doncic, MVP of the league, Brandon Miller, because Wimbledon Yama was injured, so Brandon Miller had a really good season. Ends up stealing the rookie of the year. Six man of the year goes to Christian Wood. It usually is Chris Paul. Um, in these simulations, Giannis wins DPOI, and Paul Reed still wins Most Improved Player. Bradley Beal wins Clutch Player of the Year over Book, over Book, book and KD, and so on and so forth. And the highest amount of wins is 58, which seems a bit light. Because how... Oh my God, Luka's still injured. He's not playing in the playoffs. Steph Curry might play if the team is really good, but unlikely. Jason Tatum, out. Broken left ankle. He's done. Uh, broken nose, okay. Julius Randle's probably gonna have a mask like he's Rip Hamilton. But injuries, injuries, injuries everywhere. Zach Levine made an All NBA team, y'all. Zach Levine made an All NBA team, y'all. Watch out, Bulls Nation. It's our time. No, it's not. No, it's not. Uh, all defensive team. Jared Allen is still out with a collapsed lung. Woo! I know someone had a collapsed lung. It did not look good. It, it did not like a fun time. All right, so let's go and look around to see. Who else is out for the year? Scotty Barnes, Spinal as well. Tatum, Dunn. It's just a ton of players, bro. Whoa. Luka being out. Jalen Brown can probably play through it. Zach Levine is currently injured, but playing through it. I think we should look at out versus just injured or just hurt because hurt, you can play through it. Out means like, hey, gang, it ain't no way I'm putting up no putting on no sneakers and going out there to help you win. But for the most part, it's not that bad as I'm looking at it. A lot of role players for sure. The Steph Curry one hurts, but I, I, I can't even tell you if they made the playoffs or not. Brandon Ingram one is going to hurt if they're a playoff team. Paul George and Rudy Gobert. He, Rudy Gobert might be back if they made it. The answer, uh, they, they didn't make it. Okay, so now that we're back in the season, I want to turn my injury classifications on so I can see them when they happen. Like Nikola Jokic getting the flu. Technically not an injury, but it counts. <laughs> KCP, whoa, whoa, what's going on? You got a stomach bug on one starter and the flu on the other starter. And Cody Zeller's back, that's fine. Stomach bug for Jamal Murray too. What restaurant did they go to? That's crazy. Migraine, like these are some crazy like injuries. Migraine, I know migraines are real, don't get me wrong. I, 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 luckily I ain't have to experience no migraine, but I know they can get ridiculous. Are we done with the plan? The answer is not without a concussion from Jairus Walker. Concussion. Concussions are very rare in the game of basketball. Less rare other places, but in the game of basketball, you don't really hear concussions happening often. George Niang, uh, Keith is back. Hairline fracture. Mitchell Robinson is coming through those gates. Like, um, did Willis Reed in the finals or in the conference finals? Oh man, that's that's early 70s, I think. I, I, nobody here knows what I'm talking about. And Bucks get eliminated. The Bulls make the last play-in spot. Giannis and Dane wasn't good enough. They have their starting lineup, more or less, and the Bulls were just better. Oh, because Lonzo's back. The one dude that's injured in real life is back. He's not completely back. Um, or did he get injured again? Because it says he's only a 76, and he broke his finger. Are you playing through a broken finger? Are you a madman? He's playing through a broken finger. That that's When a game of basketball where it is such hand-oriented, that sounds awful. 
But Lonzo's, he's like that. Vooch is back, and then he got a stomach virus. Devon Sabonis is back, and Tyrese Maxey broke his wrist. DeAndre Aiden has something with his hip. Tob Tobias is back. Trey Young is gone. Do you see how crazy this is? And this is just your one. I got some ideas for your number two to make it even worse. Zion is back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Z is back. Evan Mobley. Wasn't he already out for the entire season? I feel like he was already out for the whole season. Somehow he made it back. Surprise return. Jokic is back from his stomach virus. So is KCP or whatever they had. Uh, we do get the first little thing the first couple teams to make it through it's so hard to keep up john morant was just out for the season dejounte murray's gonna be out for one to two now i'm kind of playing to see what is the wildest thing it can say like i've never really taken my time to look at all the injuries so like stomach virus flu those are real things um but they're the least common ones like a torn acl feels pretty common you know what i'm saying a sprained ankle feels pretty common so we got a couple game sevens in the first round uh, one of them being this one against the, the Cavs and the Knicks, the rematch of last year. All right, let's see what happens. Julius Randle just got back from his injury, so maybe he'll make a big impact coming off that injury. They're up by a good amount. It looks as though the Knicks are going to do it again with a minute to go. We'll jump in. We'll jump in just to see the what is the likelihood that we can see an injury given the circumstance. Probably low, but still, watching basketball is watching basketball. Uh, there's Donovan Mitchell being guarded by... Uh, Jalen Brunson, they got a small backcourt in the game right now. Step back, step back. What are you doing? Good defense, carries the verb with the ball, gives it up to Evan Mobile, who's playing through an injury. He's just a tough, gritty guy. He gives it up to Donovan Mitchell, who's trying to get downhill. He pulls up. No, he doesn't. Defense is looking good for the Knicks. Winner go home. What are you going to do? They just throwing the ball around. And a bailout bucket for Donovan Mitchell. Wow, Dono, that's huge. That's a huge, huge bucket, my boy. And a timeout for the Knicks. All right, New York, what are you going to do? Uh, we see no Julius Randle, even though he just came back from his injury. Did he get re-injured? I don't know. There's a possibility that he got re-injured. Jalen Brunson calling for the screen of Mitchell Robinson. Robinson sets the screen. He rolls. They give it up to the big man, 23, with a dunk. One timeout left for the Cavs. Are they going to use it now, or are they going to play ball? They're going to play ball, it looks like. This is what we like. Don't You ain't got to use no timeouts, JB. Just go out there and let these boys hoop. That's a mismatch if you ask me. Floater, not of a Mitchell. Another tough bucket. And there is the last timeout for the Knicks. Knicks basketball down by one. 20 seconds to go. The screen for Mitchell Robinson comes. He rolls. There's the help from Donovan Mitchell. And Donovan Mitchell plays that so well. He fouls Mitchell Robinson, who's historically not a good free throw shooter. Will Mitch Rob hit both of these? One of these... The first one is a miss. Uh-oh. So much pressure on the young guy. What is he going to do? Second one is up. And it is good. He splits it. And now it is a tie game with 18 seconds. I have a feeling that this is going to Donovan Mitchell, but maybe not. There's the inbound. Um, Tristan Thompson's getting real minutes, I just realized. So shout out to Tristan Thompson. 13 seconds, 11 seconds, 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Come on, Donovan. Make your move. Don't wait till there's one second on the clock, 2K. There's the screen. He picked up his dribble and Evan Mobley didn't roll. So we're they're going to over. Oh my God, they're not going to overtime. Donovan Mitchell just wins the series on. Oh my God. What were those last two shots? What were those last two shots? Donovan Mitchell with the, why the, the crowd not even going crazy? You serious? The man just put up a 44 piece, scored the last of seven points. And one of them was an impractical jump shot and he just hit it. I'm glad we jumped into that game. I didn't think it was going to be great, and it ended up being great. Zion, dislocated right patella. Ugh, that sounds nasty. So we do get a 8-1 uh, upset. Your Chicago Bulls um, go out there, and they win a game seven um, in Miami. So that makes me feel happy. I, don't, I think it's going to be short-lived, but right now they are healthy. Steph Curry's back. Steph Curry's back. The Warriors were able to beat the Pelicans without Steph Curry, and now he's back. Uh, Wiggins is back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Warriors are about to be full strength again. The Warriors are about to be full strength again. Hold on. They might end up winning this series. 2-1 series. Moses Moody. That don't matter. No disrespect. That, that don't hurt them too much. Isaac Okoro's gone. Joel Embiid is back, and they're up 3-0 now. Yeah, the Bulls are cooked. The Bulls are cooked. Joel Embiid. You were down 3-0, and Joel Embiid didn't even play the first three games? That's tough. The Bulls are gone. Alex Caruso got injured in that game whatever the warriors are they going to close out the series the answer is 
No, the Warriors choked the series away to Marcus Smart. There's no Ja Morant. There's no Ja Morant. Marcus Smart just shot 9 of 14, 5 of 6 from 3, and won a game 7. I'm not going to say by himself because Jaron had 28, 6, and 5 blocks. Like he was great. But Marcus Smart being the number one scorer in a game 7, a must-win game, is crazy. Uh, Klay Thompson fouled out. Chris Paul didn't do anything. Uh, Draymond took a lot of shots and missed most of them. Steph Curry did his part, but he needed some help, and he didn't get that. So we got Lakers versus Grizzlies. Of course, they got a little bit of history there. And then we got Atlanta versus Philly, and Philly has Joel and B back, which makes me think that they are going to win this series. That's just based on, you know, the health. That's just based on health. Derrick Rose is back. I don't know if that helps the Grizzlies, but it, it happened. Broken ribs for Desmond Bain. Is that the nail in the coffin? Mike Grant for JoJo. Tyrese Maxey is upgraded, so he's coming back. I think that the winner of this is going to be the 76ers, which is ironic because Joel Embiid is on the team. And for the first five years, seven years of Joel Embiid's career, all people want to talk about was his injury stuff. And now he is leading a team to the finals in a, it's a video where injuries are turned all the way up. We got Lakers 76ers. Let's see what these lineups look like. Pretty normal. Pretty normal on both sides. No D'Angelo Russell. Forgot about that. No D'Angelo Russell. But the rest, it feels like a normal matchup. I think it's just a matter of... Can both teams stay healthy? Gabe Vincent is done. <laughs> Andy Davis has the flu. Joel Embiid is done. Oh, that's a wrap. Tyrese Maxey, done. Oh, that's a wrap. Oh, man, that's a wrap. They went from Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey to DeAnthony Melton and Mo Bamba. That is a rough go. But hey, Lakers fans, you are three games away from putting it together. Oh, they still lost. James Harden said, don't count me out because I'm still like that. 2-2. Two, two. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to need to see a LeBron game. But Jalen Hushafino just had a really game. Anthony Davis is back from his flu. And they are losing to Kelly Oubre and B-Ball Paul and James Harden. One game away for the 76ers. They do it. That's an all-time fumble. Also, an amazing series for James Harden. Wow. So I'm wondering if anybody... Okay, nobody retired due to injury. Al Horford is injured, but I don't think that's the... Well, spinal injury will be career ending in some cases so i don't i don't know i don't know if i'm counting that as a, a career ending injury maybe we could maybe we could we should not but i am going to make a change at the start of next season that's going to turn this to 11. this right here is the durability statistics we are turning all of these down to 25 for every single player so think about the normal injury risk we already turned it up to 100 and then we're amplifying it even more because now the durability of everybody's head is down to 25 and then their neck and then their arms and then their legs and then everything and then we'll see who wins the championship then and just like that we have turned the durability down on everyone to, to, to can i show it 2k can i show it 2k can i show it where's durability what happened Durability stat all the way 25 and then morale boost, whatever, but it's 25. I'm genuinely afraid that this is going to break the game. Um, people were already injured before the season even started. Look at all these people that's coming back for the injury. I didn't even know there were injuries already, but I, here we go. So we get a Marjan Bochamp 4-6. We get a Kemba Walker 6-8. to eight. Good to see Kemba Walker back in the league. We get a Casey Wallace 4-6. to six. We get a Devin Vassell 4-6. We get a Wiggins 2-4 to four months. When you Gabriel's back, this is the first day of the season. I want to remind you all of this. Is happening in the first three days of the NBA. This is about to be insane. Yep. Yep. I'm afraid this is going to break the game. I'm afraid that every team is going to have so many injuries that it's going to break the game. Now that we kind of have an idea of the value of these injuries just about a couple days, I'm putting it back on automatic. And we're going to the All-Star break to see if there's going to be, again, surprise All-Stars like last year. John Morant is the starter captain for the All-Star game. We just got news that a couple days ago that the, it's now back to East versus West instead of this captain drafting. Um, but in the game in 2K, it's still like this. So, Alperin Shingood and Jalen Green, first-time All-Stars. Houston must be nice. Evan Mobley, Scoot Henderson, Kate Cunningham, first-time All-Stars. And LaMelo, a second-time All-Star, first-time starter. So, that's pretty cool. Award. Wow. Wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. 14 players are done for the year, not coming back. And then a bunch of players still got months left to recover. And yeah, why, why did we do this video? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Luca, Brandon Miller's progression is not going to be bad. 
Klay Thompson is out with another ACL. That sucks. De'Aaron Fox fractured his leg. Ouch. It's some bad, it's some bad stuff. Um, can I see if the Rockets are just that nice? The answer is yes. They're number two seed right now. All right, Rockets, do your thing. Do your thing. Did I even see Shea as an all-star? I feel like I didn't. And maybe I just overlooked it. But he's the MVP of the league. Um, this guy, rookie of the year, Chris Paul, six man, your DPO goes Evan Mobley, Jalen Green was most improved player, LeBron James was clutch player, yeah, even though he tried to retire, and I had to tell him no. Uh, all star, oh, all NBA, no injuries, oh my god, oh my god, no injuries, except, okay, Jimmy Butler's done, and then this guy, Sylvester Blackman, which is a cool name to say, Abraham Barry, another solid to cool name to say, let's see all of the season into injury. 32 players across the league are just done for the year. 32 some spinal a lot spinal it looks like a lot of spinal it looks like oh my god everybody's spine is just messed up i can't believe it all right who's our champion though who's our champion the bulls are two games away the bulls come on please please one game away the bulls are not in the finals dang uh the grizzlies are here the goal against k cunningham and the detroit pistons christian wood is back the Bulls did not have Zach Levine to make that huge run. I just want to say he's he's one of the people out for the year. But that looks like a healthy Pistons roster versus a nearly healthy uh, Grizzlies roster. And again, at the end of the day, that's all you need is some health. But I do think the Grizzlies are just going to overpower them. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, slight comeback. Slight comeback, Detroit. Slight comeback, Detroit. One more game. I'm rooting for Detroit. I'm sorry, Memphis. We're about to see history, maybe. A 3-0 comeback? Nah. Dang, no way you fought all the way this this far to not do it. They didn't do it. That's tough. That's tough. Grizzlies put uh, put the nail in the coffin right there. Ah, that was a rough one. That was a rough one. And LeBron is retiring. Kyle Lowry will retire. Another spinal injury type retiring. And that's kind of it. Robert Covington retires after 12 years. So we didn't get any career-ending injury, which is cool. Um, but that is what would happen. If you turn injuries up to 100, you, you turn the effects of the injuries up to 100, and you turn the durability down to 25. If you enjoyed, leave it a like, subscribe. The comment section is always open for new ideas, and we will see you tomorrow. Peace.